To access the abdominal cavity, small incisions are created. Trocars are placed to serve as passageways for surgical instruments. The surgeon examines the abdomen using a laparoscope or video camera. The average human stomach can expand to hold around 1 to 1.5 liters of food. While in the stomach, food is combined with digestive enzymes. These help break the food down into a simpler form so that it can be digested more easily and absorbed in the small bowel. During a gastric bypass, a small pouch is created in the stomach using a stapling device. The small stomach pouch, about the size of an egg, limits the amount of food you can eat before feeling full. The small bowel is separated into two sections. The lower portion of the small bowel is attached to the newly created stomach pouch. This allows food to pass directly into the second portion of small bowel, where digestion continues. The upper portion of the small bowel is reconnected to the lower. Bile and pancreatic fluids from the liver and pancreas allow food to be digested completely. By altering the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract, gastric bypass changes signals in the body, resulting in decreased hunger and increased feelings of fullness after meals. As with all weight loss procedures, behavior modification and dietary compliance plays a critical part in determining the long-term success of the procedure. All surgery presents risks. Weight, age, and medical history determine your specific risks. Ask your doctor if bariatric surgery is right for you.